Hey guys, how's it going? This is Alex Arks, and today I'm bringing you some more Destiny. And today I'm going to be showing you Bad Juju, the exotic primary weapon pulse rifle that you can get within Destiny. Now, you're probably wondering, what is that funky gun you got in your hands? Well, that is Bad Juju. Um, let me just show it off kind of quickly. Oh, look at them kills. It's not actually that bad a gun from what I'm probably showing you right here. But believe you me, there is a lot more behind this gun that you're not seeing. So let me just let me just get rid of some of these kids and get to a safe spot and let me just show you the gun and its stats. Okay, so this is bad juju here. Uh as I said, it's an exotic pulse rifle, primary weapon. And you can see there it's uh, fairly standard stats for a pulse rifle actually quite a high rate of fire uh, low impact it is a three shot burst and you've got a magazine size of 15 now the special exoticness about this comes in the form of the abilities which you can see there we have this weapon reloads instantly and increases damage for a short time after each kill and the second ability is this weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. Now, that last one, the bonus accuracy while firing from the hip, I don't think it's really that big a deal. I don't usually shoot from the hip. I'm, I'm usually down the sights, a down the sights kind of guy, so I'm all for accuracy anyway. Um, the main one is that first skill there. This weapon reloads instantly and increases damage for a short time after each kill. Now that's actually the last one you unlock. The la well, the last of those special abilities you get. So you've got to you got to work this weapon up quite a long way to get String of Curses, which is what that ability is there. Now, if I just show you this in action, you'll notice I have 15 bullets to a clip. And as soon as I kill a guy, it instantly reloads. So it'll reload on the last bullet you land the kit hit with. So you can see that I've now got 14 because the second bullet in that burst killed him and it still fired one bullet from the rest of that burst, if that makes sense. Um, you're probably sitting there going, okay, it sounds, it looks pretty neat actually, ability wise, you know, if you take your time, line up your shots. And to be fair, it's not actually that bad. Um, I know a lot of people actually don't rate Bad Juju quite highly. Um, it's, you know, people say it's it's one of the worst exotics in the game. Um, it's not one of the best by any means, but I wouldn't say it's totally unusable. It, it is just a situational gun more than anything. Um, you'll see here, I'm having some difficulty getting that captain down. And I still reload anyway, even though it's got the ability. I just went until Ghosty's finished interrupting me. Um, so yeah, it's it's not ideal for a, a lot of the game, to be fair. Mob control, when you're fighting loads of ads, it's really, really good. Um, if you can be aiming for those headshots, especially low-level ads, actually. If you can be hitting those headshots and putting people down in those five bursts that you get per clip you're getting to get an instant reload and more damage which just means you can just keep rolling keep shooting ads um, keep doing what I'm doing here okay my accuracy dropped off a bit there but it means you can just kinda keep firing keep going and it's pretty good in that respect however like I showed you against that captain um, it's not great against strong enemies um, you end up shooting it quite a lot and reloading it even more um, you know, you only get five bursts, which is a really short clip when you compare it to other kind of pulse rifles or other guns in general. Um, it's not ideal for those tougher enemies. Now, I must say, okay, for ads, it is, it is quite good fun, actually, to use. But when you first get this gun, uh, after the exotic bounty, which is Tolan's Legacy, um... The first time you use it, it'll be really, really hard to use because you don't have you don't have that perk. You have to work to get it, and it it took me a while to actually get it. You know, it's quite hard to use this gun. Um, you know, day in day out uh, on this game, um, it only becomes a decent we well, a semi decent weapon once you've uh, unlocked that ability. So 
you know, if if you've got this gun and you want to level it up, I'd say just switch it in and out when you're getting bounties turned in. Um, just put the XP on it that way. Uh, I wouldn't waste too much time trying to level it up normally. Um, now, regarding the, the bounty where you get it, like I mentioned, it is called Tollin's Legacy. Now, the tasks for this um, are complete a weekly heroic or nightfall strike to obtain the journal. Then you have to take it back to Ikora Ray in the tower, and then you've got to complete 25 additional strikes. Once you've done that, you then have to go to the gunsmith, get some black market coupon thing. Then you have to wait till Zhir comes at the weekend. Um, you need to use a strange coin to, to buy a darkness-infused weapon frame from him. Um, you then need to go back to the gunsmith, and then you need to get kills in the Crucible. Now, you need to attain 10,000 points with 25 points a kill coming from Titan or Hunters and Warlocks getting you 75 points. So it's quite a lot of work, especially that first stint. Completing your first weekly or nightfall strike might not be too difficult for people at this stage, but there's the 25 strike completions afterwards that really drags on and on and on. Um, Approaching the and then you have to wait for Zer, and then you've got a lot, of, a lot of kills in the Crucible to do, so... You know, it's quite a long slog to then get a gun that at first seems totally unusable. Um, I didn't enjoy doing the uh, the bounty for it, but... And the gun, actually, when you get it, you just feel like it's trash. And you kind of want to destroy it the moment you get it. But, you know... It's not that bad, in all fairness. You know, I'm planning... Uh, this is a uh, daily heroic story, so I'm playing level 28. I think I've I've booted my level up to level 29, so I do have a dis a slight level advantage, but not too much. You'll see. Okay, shielded enemies, captains. Oh, I'm getting destroyed here. Uh, shielded enemies do take a little bit longer to kill, but anything that you can kill in two or three bursts, this gun's ace because you you just get that instant reload. Uh, so you can just keep shooting. Um, you know, any tougher enemies though, you're going to be reloading a lot. It's not the quickest reload either. You know, so definitely just use your bounties to level this up. Don't don't spend a lot of time. Um, you know, it, by far and away, it's not the best exotic out there. But definitely, if you're going to be doing like farming or or anything like that, it's it's definitely worth picking up just because it's... I do enjoy using it because it is different from other guns. You can just go on massive kind of sprees of not needing to reload and... Um, it's pretty nice not to have to worry about that. Admittedly, I don't think ammo's ever been a problem for me either. Um, but I mean, I, I would not recommend it for use during raids or nightfalls. It just doesn't have have any any kind of surreal power to kind of go against high level enemies. Um, anyway guys, uh, that's about it for this video. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think about Bad Juju. Um, it's meant to be getting a patch as well at some point, um, along with a couple of other guns. Um, I don't know whether it's just rumours or whether Bungie have actually, or are actually planning on doing it. Um, yeah, it, this gun might be getting a bit of a buff, so it could be even more powerful than it's for herself at the moment but uh, yeah I've been Alex Arx please leave a like and a comment and share this video with your other Destiny Guardian friends and yeah please subscribe for more Destiny and anyway guys I'm gonna finish off this mission with my glowy gun and yeah I'll catch you guys later bye